If you're clicking this and just want to know one thing, I'm not going to leave you hanging. The Stable Diffusion 3 medium weights are going to be released on the 12th of June. We got that covered. Now, I got an email from Stability AI and it said the wait is nearly over, Sebastian. And, you know, that kind of covered uh, the dad joke for me, so that's great. It said it's it's a basically a newsletter. And it says, uh, have you heard that the SG3 weights are dropping soon? Our co-CEO Christian Laforte just announced the weights released at Computex Taipei earlier today. Stable Diffusion 3 Medium, our most advanced text image, is on its way. So we had Stable Diffusion 3 API. That was released. You could use a model of Stable Diffusion 3. Now they have been fine tuning this model. So expect uh, a slight improvement. Is it going to be a major improvement? I don't know. We'll have to see. I've tested the API model. I've tested a different model that was available on, on Discord, an internal one. Uh, I have yet to test this one, but um, if, if I understand correctly, you can actually try it through uh, their Discord. I will get to that in a bit. They say this model excels uh, in a few features and we kind of covered this in the previous video. Um, but they, here they say photorealism overcomes common artifacts in hands and faces. Hands especially, that's great. And also faces. I mean, yeah, you can fix faces today with face detailers, a detailers, you know, all the different extensions that cover faces. But um, I mean, having a good face in a, a mid to long distance with the first generation, I mean, that would be kind of cool. So we'll see what happens. And it says delivering high quality images without need for complex workflows. Typography, we tested that a little bit in uh, my previous video. And, you know, it, it's better. It's much better. Uh, I hope it's going to be even better. It says achieves robust results in typography outperforming larger state-of-the-art models. Um, performance ideal for both consumer systems and enterprise workloads due to its optimized size and efficiency. And probably the most interesting part here is the fine-tuning one. Uh, this not, comes as no surprise. It's going to be capable of absorbing nuanced details from small datasets, making it perfect for customization and creativity. So, you know, we're going to see good SD3 models once the community starts fine tuning them. And that has been the case with 1.5 with SDXL. It didn't really happen as much with 2.0 and 2.1. Um, I don't know why, probably because, uh, you know, the results weren't so different from 1.5 and then we got Excel. So, you know, 2.0, 2.1 just kind of fell between the chairs, so to speak, as we'd say in Sweden. They also go on saying, if you, ca if you can't wait until then, you can access a free three-day three day trial of our most capable text-to-image model via our friendly chatbot Stable Assistant, via Stable Artisan and Discord, or via our API. And they have this Stable Assistant now, right? And while it's not new, new, it's not something that I really covered before. So they have a, a, a chatbot, basically. It says a friendly chatbot powered by our latest text and image generation technology. And you can sign up, test that. And uh, the kind of cool thing is that kind of use the Stable Fusion 3 together with this. So, I mean, if you're using ChatGPT, you don't really have those image capabilities. I mean, you have Dolly 3 connected to that, I guess. But um, the power of Stable Diffusion and all the extensions, like you know, and just in painting control and that stuff like that, uh, you know, gives us so much more power. Um, now I yet to see any control nets for Stable Fusion 3, but I'm sure uh, they will be worked on. And like they say here, generate with Stable Fusion 3. So you can use that uh, with uh, the Stable Assistant. Here's some images of that. Either this, this guy's missing a foot or he's just uh, kind of in movement. I would assume he's more kind of in, in, in movement. I said this one looks fairly okay. Hard to judge uh, on the skin here because uh, it's kind of out of focus a little bit. Um, I guess that's to be expected with um, this fast aperture lens or, you know, what it's trying to be, at least. Here's another kind of artistic photo just referen referenced here. Uh, so their uh, language model is stable LM212B. Uh, I'm not going to delve too much into that. Um, the cool part is, it, like we talked about, the include stable image services. So you have search and replace, removing the background, control structure, which I assume is a part of a control net. We have sketch or, or image to uh, image, sketch to, to image. And we have uh, something they call creative upscale and out painting where you uh, make the image uh, larger. Well, not larger, you're actually expanding the image and then filling parts in. Oh, they kind of tricked me here. I thought I could 
uh, click on this, but it's just uh, pausing the, the video. But these are features that we have seen in Stable Diffusion previously. So um, yeah, great to see them moving forward in SD3. And you see, say Dream with Stable Diffusion, and that's basically what you do because when you use their bots on, on Discord, you, you, you type slash Dream, and here are some examples of what people have been doing today. It's an astronaut, a horse, a tiger, lion. I mean, you get the point. I think you're just trying to lower the, the barrier or, and get people that are using Midjourney to come test this. Now, I don't really use this feature because, uh, well, I have much more advanced stable fusion UIs installed locally and in the cloud as well. These images to videos look kind of cool though. Uh, if they are, they could just be text to video. I assume they probably are. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Looks kind of cool, that, except that little walking there. Anyway, with Stable Assistant and Stable Artist and the bot they have, uh, it's not free. You get like three day free trial, but then it's from nine, nine bucks a month. So that is Stable Assistant. And then they have that Stable Artisan, which is what they call their AI Discord bot. Now that's slightly confusing to me, having both uh, names there, but... Um, so this is what they call the Discord bot, Gen generated with Stable Diffusion 3. Here's the same images, here are the same features, here's the same video, here's the same pricing. I don't know, you tell me. And if you want to know what you get through these prices, is to say you get a lot of credits, um, you know, what, what are those? Um, it, one image through SD3 is 6.5 credits. I think it said like 0 0.1 credits for a message, uh, but you have the pricing structure. Here video is 20 credits uh, out of your uh, let's say you do the nine dollars a month one out of 900 so let's say 900 20, so you get like 45 videos out of that and expect some um, credits going away you know for whatever so, so like 40 40 videos i'm not sure i mean if you check the stable assistant pricing it says here is just um six six 6.5 credits for an image and zero one 0.1 credits for a message and I'm not sure if that yeah I don't know what the difference is anymore stable assistant stable artisan is stable artisan just the discord bot and the stable assistant is kind of working outside of discord too doesn't matter uh, I'm not gonna leave you hanging if you made it this long I'm gonna give you a little treat we talked about uh, time and uh, they gave us the dad joke of of weights previously the weight is is always kind of you know almost over stuff like that so what do you call a belt made of watches a waste of time have a good one see ya